Hi folks, Chris Williamson here from Mod Creations. Just making a quick video to show you one of my favorite ways to make large format photography. And that would be on metal. It really creates a, a nice luster and a contrast using bare metal as your printing platform. Here's another one here. Bare metal printing. Really nice way to handle um, black and white photography. Now, you might be wondering, how does the image get onto the metal? Well, the process is a, it's a dye sublimation uh, heat transfer process. And the image is first printed onto a paper with a dye sublimation printer. And then that image that is on the paper is transferred to the metal using extreme heat and pressure. While the heat and pressure is applied, the dyes on the transfer paper actually turn into a gas. And then they're pressed into the surface of the metal, which solidifies into the, into the surface. and becomes very durable and cleanable. Okay, so what I have here is a table full of proofs that I used as an experimentation process to figure out how I wanted to have my images printed. Contrast is key when printing on something like bare metal, like this, this, or like this. You know, bare, bare metal would require a good amount of contrast, at least a good amount of tone throughout the whole image. An image like this that doesn't have much contrast is, is difficult to print on a, on a bare metal. That's when you have to consider using a surface of, of white, um, a white surface on the metal, because the, the ink just gets too light to really compete with the texture of the metal. I don't know if you can see there's a texture to the metal um, that it's not really a problem when, when images are printed very large and, and, and they have the right contrast. But when it's a very faint type image, just very low contrast, you'll, you'll start to see that, that metal and it'll be maybe more distracting, take your attention away from, from the image. Sometimes it actually works in creating I don't know, a more dimensional type of feel to the artwork, like this turntable. The actual texture of the metal could be a part of the image. But yeah, so, so this is a bare metal. This is a white coating. Both work great for this. This, is, this has a gloss finish to it. Let's see if you can see that. I like the gloss coating. And then this is a matte coating, which is fine for this. This could go gloss, that would be nice. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This image has been a, a challenge for me. I, I really like the luster of printing on a bare metal, but it always has to be, this image always has to be so well lit or else it falls off. Notice how dark it gets right there. See, it has to have the perfect lighting situation for it to work. But when you hit it right, it really is pretty neat. This is, again, uh, printed on white coated metal uh, with a glossy finish. I don't know, I'm still trying to hit the right solution for this image on metal. It, it might be more of a better suited for fabric printing or um, you know, maybe, maybe things like, this is actually a photographic, uh, archival photographic print with a museum grade plexiglass mounted in front of it. 
It's actually a really nice solution. I, I really want to see what this could be like on a metallic or, or on a bare metal printing. I think that would be really cool. Okay, again, the Mini Cooper that you saw earlier. This is on bare metal. It could work great on white coated metal as well. It depends on what you're looking for. I, I really like the, the luster at the dynamics of this. I think that they're really, it's really awesome. There's a lot of images that I have that I, that I haven't tested on metal that I'm excited to try. And this, this one's okay on metal, on bare metal. Jury's still out on this one. So, so okay, and one, one other thing I want to talk about here is wall mounting metal artwork. Now you can get the uh, metal uh, with this frame attached. Basically, it just it just floats the frame, uh, the the artwork out from the wall. You know, about three quarters of an inch. And what you do is you you get strips like this. That it's basically a channel, and that gets mount, mounted to the wall, and then the frame rides inside that channel. As such, and uh, these, these come in different lengths, depending on how much you need. Another way that metal can be mounted to the wall, you can get uh, standard frames, like metal frames, wooden frames, and it can just be attached right in. Or they also have something called a, a float frame, where the metal appears to be floating just a, a little bit inside the frame, where you don't see how it's attached when actually it's being, it's being spaced out from the back and attached from the back of the frame. I haven't looked too much into, into that solution, but I've seen examples and they look really cool. So something to look at if, if this is a direction that you're, you're thinking of for some artwork. Um, yeah, so if you're inter interested in something like this, contact me. Let me know if you have any questions. If you want to get going on a particular image, I'd be glad to help. So, thanks for watching.